Hey everyone, in this video we're going to go over how to beat a matchup or person to person full court press, so stay tuned. It's holding him! That's a jump ball! You missed that boy! Fresh, he got whacked! Call a foul! Get up! How is that not a foul? So what is a press? A press is when your opponent applies full court defensive pressure, designed to make it difficult for your players to advance the ball from your back court into your front court. A press is typically applied after your opponent scores a made basket, or you have to inbound the ball along the baseline in your back court. The goal of any press is to force turnovers through errant passes, steals, and designed traps. Presses can be both matchup or zone coverage. In this video, we're going to go over how to break a matchup or person to person full court press. Check out my video number 23 on how to beat a zone press. This 1 4 person to person press break is great for spreading the defense out and not allowing opportunities to trap off their matchups. Well placed and executed screens are going to get you some easy scoring opportunities. And the 1 4 setup is the same setup for my 1 4 zone press break. Now what are the weaknesses of this press break? This press break requires solid passing skills, especially the deep pass down the court. A lead pass is needed to hit your player coming off the first screen and running down the court. A good ball handler is also needed to move the ball up the court. If your best ball handler can't get past their defender without an on-ball screen, you might be in some trouble. And lastly, full court matchup pressure can conceal your opponent's defensive intentions. Now what does that mean? They may intend to match up full court, but only apply light pressure. They may match up and play aggressive denial pressure. Or they may lay off your poor dribbler and try to force a pass to that player in order to trap out of their defensive matchups. Be aware of these strategies so you'll know when to use this press break or not. So what's a matchup or person to person full court press? This is a defensive tactic that extends the entire length of the court. It differs from when your opponent is simply matched up in that the pressure is often designed to get the ball away from your best ball handlers and tries to force you into bad decisions. Now let's look at the 1-4 person to person press break setup. I like to have either the 4 or 5 player take the ball out of bounds to increase the number of ball handlers for our press break. The other players are lined up above the free throw line extended. Our 3 and 5 players are at the elbows and our two guards are outside the three-point line. This setup is where the name 1-4 or 4-cross comes from. I like both names as it makes it easy for the players to remember the setup. It can also be easily signaled with your fingers silently across the court in a loud gym. Now let's put in our defenders. Let's assume that their full court pressure is aggressive. If it weren't, you probably wouldn't need to run a press break to advance the ball. The first action will be screens by our outside guards. It's important that the screeners position the screen so that the initial movement by our players coming off the screen appears to be going towards the ball. After the inside screens are set, our 3 and 5 players will fake toward the middle, then curl around the screens and break down the court along the sidelines looking for the ball. The deep pass is our first look for our inbounder. Before we move on, let's go over some goals for our press break. Giving your players clear targets or goals helps to ensure that they'll have a better chance to hit them. First, inbound the ball safely. Moving two of our offensive players down the court will bring two defenders with them and free up more space in the backcourt. Two, advance the ball into the front court, And three, don't turn over the ball. No turnovers. If your players succeed in achieving these three goals, you'll have successfully broken your opponent's press. I wanted to separate these goals from fast break opportunities. Fast break opportunities off a press break are wonderful, but they're a bonus. I'm deliberately making this point because sometimes players will achieve the first three goals and then end up turning over the ball looking for a fast break opportunity that really isn't there. If either player has beat their defender down the court, our inbounder should be able to make this long lead pass down the court over the defenders and in front of our players streaking down the court. You'll be surprised at how open this first look will be. If you score off this two or three times, your opponent is likely to call off their full court press. 
be sure practicing looking at both options down the court. The point that your inbounder should determine whether or not to throw the long pass begins when observing the defense at the first screen. If the defender gets caught behind the screen, that's the moment to decide to throw that long pass. Now what happens if both long passes are covered? Our 1 player will set a screen on 2's defender then roll towards the ball. Our 3 and 5 players should continue down the court along the sideline to bring their defenders with them. After the second screen is set, player 2 will cut toward the ball and player 1 will roll off the screen also looking for the ball. Here's a look at the play slowed down a bit. After the second screen is set, we should be able to inbound the ball to our 1 or 2 player. If we inbound to our 2 player, we can either hit our 1 player flashing to the middle or try and beat our defender off the dribble down the middle of the court. If we pass the ball to our 1 player flashing to the middle, our 2 and 4 players will fill the outside lanes and allow our 1 player to bring the ball up to court. And, we can always look to inbound the ball directly to our 1 player. If that happens, our 1 should try to beat their defender off the dribble and up the middle of the court, while our 2 and 4 players fill the outside lanes. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my video on how to break a matchup or person to person full court press. If you like this, please leave a like. If you like the content, please subscribe. In this video, we covered how to break a matchup or person to person full court press. I didn't really go over how to execute a fast break, simply getting out of the back court and into your front court without turning over the ball is a victory. If you're advancing on your goal with an advantage in numbers, that's always a bonus. Score some easy fast break points off a press break and your opponents are likely to call off their press really quick. In my video number 23, I go over a zone press break, so check that out and you'll have both in your playbook arsenal. If you're going to try this press break, I wish you much success. Leave me a comment and let me know how it worked out for you and your team. If you have recorded video of your team running this play or any of the plays you've learned from my channel and would like for me to create a YouTube video reviewing the execution of the play, please email me at coachrustvideos at gmail.com. Blessings to you and have a great season.